It's not easy to be home, especially for those 20 million Americans who struggle with drug addiction. Social distancing could lead to drugs for coping. So Sarasota police want to make sure that you know what to look for. Tweeting symptoms of an overdose to help raise awareness. Investigators believe five people overdosed on Monday, likely from opioids. But they're waiting on the toxicology reports to make sure that that's the case. A spokesperson for the not-for-profit addiction treatment facility, Centerstone, says the situation was already an issue before the pandemic. And as more people deal with this isolation and stress, there's even more incentive to get help. Make sure that people have the services they need, the ones that have always been there through this pandemic, because I think it's a mistake to pull back the services and not be available when things are even harder than they were a couple of weeks ago for people. Now here's another reason to try and get help. Doctors say those who use opioids or drugs could be at more risk to infection and then have a harder time fighting coronavirus symptoms. If you or someone you know needs help, you can call the Crisis Center anytime, 211. They will answer any time of the day.